A Budget Traveler's Guide to Orlando, Florida Traveling to Orlando, Florida on a shoestring budget? There are many ways that to enjoy the great things the city beautiful has to offer without spending too much cash. In fact, just a little planning and research is all it takes to make sure you don't fall prey to some of the city's more costly dining, lodging and entertainment options. From cheap hotels and affordable eateries to free entertainment and discount days at local attractions, here we present a budget traveler's guide to Orlando, Florida. When to visit. Stay away from Orlando during the city's peak seasons of winter and summer, as everything is more affordable during the spring and autumn months. Hotels and airlines lower their rates as an incentive for travelers to visit Orlando during these off-season times. Also, the weather is neither too hot nor too cold, and the crowds are smaller too. Where to stay? If you're visiting Orlando's major theme parks, staying at an on-site resort may be alluring, but it will also be pricey. Generally, you'll find budget-friendly rates at national chains such as Radisson, Courtyard, Marriott and Country Inn and suites close to Disney, SeaWorld, and Universal Studios. Hotel prices go up the closer you get to the city's downtown area and historic districts. What to do? There are many great attractions throughout Orlando, and a little planning on your part can mean big savings for your wallet. Many places offer free or discounted days on a weekly or monthly basis, including the Harry Pilu Gardens and Menno Museum of American Art, and the Cornell Fine Arts Museum is always free. Check with Orlando on the cheap before your visit, or consider getting a Go City card so you can see dozens of the city's most popular attractions, such as WonderWorks and the Orlando Eye, at a discounted price for up to seven days. If the major theme parks are a must-do, opt for multi-day tickets and pass on the park hopper option, you'll save valuable time sticking with a single park each day. Districts to visit while it's free to walk around Disney Springs and end Universal City Walk, it can be hard to stick to your budget spending money in the shops of these districts. Church Street Station is a better option as you can generally find more affordable entertainment options day or night. Winter Park and College Park are the priciest neighborhoods in Orlando, so avoid spending money in these areas, pack a lunch and stick stick to sightseeing to save money.